Hello everyone, uh, I just want to make a quick tutorial for some cool things you can do with displacements that a couple people asked me. So uh, in my recent TF2 map, the Lethargy Pools, I had a couple cool sloped walls and stuff that uh, I all did with displacements only. So a couple tricks you could do is, uh, for one, you know, imagine this is a sloped wall, so you select both of these sides, apply your displacement, oops, forgot to turn that on. Uh, so you got your displacements like this, and if you try to subdivide it, you're gonna see, oh, it's it's like weird and bent like that. So what you wanna do is select it and copy it, put one at the bottom and top, and make sure everything is like lined up perfectly, it's all like nicely uh, lined up, and then you can subdivide it again. And now you'll see that the one in the middle is going to be perfectly uh, rounded. So you can delete the top and bottom ones and now you have a nice uh, rounded edge. And you can do whatever you want with that, you can copy it, make some cool rooms and walls like that. And it's all, all up to you I guess. Make some cool stuff, so yeah you can do that and uh, hit subdivide again, you get, well, right, so uh, I guess you have to copy it again, put one on top and bottom, select it all, and subdivide again, and now you should have a cool uh, rounded edge again. Just delete the top ones, and boom, you got a cool rounded edge like that and everything. So another cool thing you can do is uh, make like tunnels and stuff. So we can just go ahead and do it like this. Just imagine a little tunnel. So you just make it out of brushes, make sure like every corner, everything connects properly. So one way I like to do it is like this. So you just uh, kind of make it like a square tunnel and then you just go to face edit, select all the inside and it like that. Uh, so again if you hit subdivide oh, it's gonna have like weird edges like this and you don't want that so again just select everything copy one on each side make sure everything is lined up and all that and uh, then we hit subdivide and boom you have a, a perfect rounded edge uh, tunnel you can use and you can uh, copy that and uh, do whatever you want with that. You could like, I don't know, do like this. And uh, if you make each edge neat, you could uh, do some cool stuff uh, with that too. So let's see. Uh, so if I pull each of these outer edges together, and uh, let's see, that wasn't quite right. Oops, my bad. Uh, let's see, I guess it wasn't quite lined up perfectly, so that should work. So as long as these are lined up, it doesn't look quite right now, but if we select it and uh, go into displacement draw, you should be able to see everything is actually lined up perfectly. It just looks kind of weird, so if we hit subdivide now, you'll see it's nice and uh, rounded like that. So do some cool things, but keep in mind, it will kind of bevel out at the edges. So again, what you would just do is add another buffer. So um, I'll just copy this out a bit, take the clip tool, cut off this edge, and uh, connect these two together. So just subdivide it again. And uh, okay, didn't like that. Sometimes it just kind of gets mad, so you'll have to destroy everything and just do it over again. And then hopefully it should uh, be happy again, because Hammer is a little angry. And also I'm using the old Hammer right now because uh, Hammer++ Plus Plus is currently broken as of making this video, so uh, yeah. Anyway, you can see, just redoing it all, perfect, nice little tunnel. And if you get these visual bugs, as you can see, you can fix that quickly just by hitting so, and that should fix that. So that's a couple of cool things you can do with this. Uh, there's like many other things you can do, I guess we can show one cool thing you can do. So if you want, say, um, a split in your tunnel you're making. So like I made a lot of cool tunnels in my map. Uh, one way you could do that 
is uh, like this. So let's see, you do you have like a split here, just copy them all, make sure everything is uh, lined up properly. So it's kind of up to you to figure that out, I guess. I kind of expect you to know a little bit about Hammer if you're watching this. I'm not going to show you how to do all the basic stuff, but uh, if you just make sure everything, all the points again, uh, line up perfectly. So you can see like all these little points are perfectly lined up. Uh, we'll just copy this top and the bottom. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just doesn't matter for now. Uh, so it's going to look kind of ugly at first, but once we destroy it and recreate it, it should all be very nice. So yeah, we got everything lined up, everything's cool. Uh, so just make sure to create a displacement, yep. And now I can select everything and destroy it, create again. And now when I hit subdivide, it should have a cool bend, but we we get these kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's a little wide and weird. So we can do actually is kind of like in a modeling program, you can add uh, support loops, I guess. So if you select everything and go into your clipping tool, you can uh, kind of cut close to each edge here. So if you cut like this, add a support loop here, support loop there, and one here. So you kind of see it's adding extra geometry around here. So now if I uh, subdivide, it should be much more, uh, okay, it didn't like that. Again, just destroy it, subdivide. And now, there we go. Now we have a much more rounded, uh, nice kind of tunnel. So that's a quick way to do some really cool stuff. I forgot here to subdivide it again. Let's see if it works. Yeah, okay, there we go. So there you go, you got some cool cool things you can do with that. Very quick way to make a tunnel or a slope thing like this. There's like, there's so much you can do with displacements if you know how to make it work. And of course, just to end it all uh, with, you can't use these to like block off walls. It should be, or it like, um, you have to make sure that there is stuff behind it or else uh, you will have leaks in your map and you don't want that. So uh, I would ju suggest just uh, adding like a, a no draw brush or something behind your wall. So uh, just go ahead and you know, imagine this is your your cool tile wall you just made. And uh, I don't know, something like that. It's like, oh wow, that's really cool. Just make sure to have this no draw or whatever behind it so it doesn't leak out behind this uh, thing. And you'll have a very cool uh, wall you can use. And if you want to make more, you can just keep stacking them. And uh, you'll have a cool wall like that, or you know, you can uh, you can stretch it out. Everything works. And if you want more detail, you can just use the clipping tool here and cut it. It's uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff you can do. So sorry for my rambling. First time doing this, but hopefully this uh, helps someone making some cool stuff. And if you need more details or help i i have a discord in the description and uh yeah hopefully that that helps so so i forgot to mention a couple quick th cool things you can do also uh that i did mention earlier so one of the things i did that you can also do is uh, create very cool pipes and stuff with displacements so uh imagine this is your pipe you can just create out of a, a long brush and again as usual just uh select the edges in face edit that you want to be your pipe and uh, again I would suggest using power too but it's really up to you you know if you want more detail you can just cut it up but three is fine for this tutorial so anyway you got your uh, pipe here and uh, again if you subdivide oh it's, it's kind of weird it's like bent so just do as before just copy it top and bottom and then now, if you subdivide, you got a cool pipe. Oops. Like that, you got your cool pipe. And uh, some cool things you can do with that is, uh, 
if I choose like, I don't know, glass or something, it doesn't really matter, combine glass, sure, why not. Um, got your glass, so one thing I like to do a lot in my maps is copy it, so what I did is just like uh, copied it, and I select it and move it in just a tiny bit on each side, so two units I guess is good enough. It's up to you how much, how far in you want to go. Um, so yeah, that should be good. And then you can put some cool material, like, uh, I don't know, I got some cool stuff here. Let's see, okay, right, so Hammer++ plus plus, uh, stuff is usually animated, but uh, you're supposed to like fly up here, uh, whatever. Uh, you can put any texture you want, and now you have a cool glass pipe with some kind of slime or goop going through. And then, if you want to do even more cool stuff, you could make little bends in it. So, uh, if you copy it, put it like this, and I guess just to show it better, it's like all lined up nicely, everything's touching, and you can just select the top, and then make sure it's like both of these, make sure the, they hug in the corners. It takes a little bit of adjusting to make sure everything uh, lines up perfectly. Otherwise you will have some issues and Hammer will not like it. So be nice to your Hammer. Anyway, uh, so adjust that. And now everything is lined up perfectly. Everything should be good. And once we now switch to displacement, as you're going to see, it's going to look kind of funky but that doesn't matter just select it all and you can destroy it and then it should all be selected still you can just do that and subdivide it and now you have a cool pipe bend and uh yeah it's just a cool way it's going to be kind of funky with some of the textures it doesn't really line up you can try adjusting it but uh yeah it's uh it's not perfect so you do what you want with that. You could put some, I don't know, put some shiny uh, texture on it. It's not shiny here, but uh, imagine it's shiny. So yeah, you can, uh, I'm sure you can figure out some cool stuff with that. So good luck.